and I am Manu Rahim. In this video, we are going to draw a crane hook with the reference of this diagram with corresponding dimensions. Make a screenshot of this diagram for references. First, we have to open a new file part, then click OK. Select a plane which you want to sketch. First, we have to draw your circles. Again, we have to draw your two more circles. Then you have to give a corresponding dimensions as per your diagram. Give the dimension for all circles. Draw a center line for references. Now we have draw the circles which have the radius 180 and radius 62 and then we have to give the dimension for center axis as 151 and 190. Give the dimensions in between the center axis. After that we have to apply the tangent for all circles, select a two circles and apply the tangent constant. After that you have to do the same thing with the another circle, select two circles and apply the tangent constant. Now we are going to Dream the unwanted entities here. I just extend the center axis for user friendly of dream option. After that, we have go to dream entities. Just dream the entities which we not necessary here.
now we have successfully created a gate curve 1 after that we have to make a set center line references for draw a gate curve 2 give the dimensions for a center line Then we are going to draw a circle. Go to the reference diagram. We have to draw a second outer circle with corresponding dimensions. Make sure the dimension will be added to 98 and radius 62. give the dimensions by adding radius 62 and 98 totally we have a diameter of 320 after that you have to draw a few more circles After drawing the circle, you have to make a coincident with the center axis reference. Then you have to make a tangent in between the two circles. After that we have to draw a one more circle, make the center line as a reference, draw a center line at the end of gate curve 1. We have to give the dimension for a, this center line, give the small dimensions. We have to specify the length of the dimension as 30 mm because the end cross section is 30 mm. We have go for reference dimensions. Here the 30 mm is the in cross section, so we have to draw a center line reference for 30 mm. Now we are going to draw a one more circle here. Select a circle option, draw a circle, and make the circle coincident with the center and apply the coincident relationship in between the circle and the axis point after that you have to select the two circles and apply the tangent relationships at last we are going to trim the unwanted entities to achieve the shape of gate curve 2 now you have to just trim the unwanted entities here now we are successfully create here two gate curves for a crane hook after that you have to just exit the sketch we are going to draw the three profiles here go to the features make a plane at here first cross section move the top plane to the corresponding point for drawing the our cross section selecting a new plane go to the sketch select a circle and draw our first cross section as a circle after that 
you have to make a coincident with the circle to the gate close make sure the both end point of gate curves are coincident with the circle now our first cross section is created after that we have to draw a second cross section exit the sketch select a corresponding center plane make it to the normal view now we have to go a trapezoidal cross section first we have to draw a circles with respect to the dimensions in the reference diagram give the corresponding dimension for reference circles you have to specify the in between distance of circle You have to give the dimension for your line in point and the axis. After that you have to make a tangent for the line and circle. So select your circle and your line. Make it to the tangent. After that you have to make a two circle central point at a same axis then you have to draw a center axis for reference then you have to use a mirror entities select a line entity to be mirror mirror above the center axis then click ok now there is a gap at the end of the line so we have to extend the entities by select a corresponding line to close the gap select the corresponding lines by using the extended entities after that you have to just trim the unwanted entities here then we have to draw a three point arc with the corresponding dimensions in a reference diagram then you have to give the fillet here apply the fillet at all sharp corners with corresponding dimension in a reference diagram after making a fillet you have to make a coincident between the profile and the gate curve make sure both end of the profile is coincident with the gate curve if it is not coincident the component cannot be created so you have to coincident of the all profiles with the two gate curves
there is error in coincident with the gate curves to solve the error we have to use a sketch expert tool in your tools just we have to select a solution as per your requirement and click accept then we have to exit the sketch now the two profile is created and coincident with the two gate curves after that we have to draw a lost profile so select a reference plane at the end axis and we have to select a friend plane now the plane at the end point are created then we have to draw a third profile select a plane which we create newly then we have to draw a circle make sure your circle is coincident with the end points After drawing a circle, just exit the sketch. Now our two gate curves and the three profile is successfully created here. Then go to the boundary boss option. In a direction one, we have to select a all profiles, such as a circle and trapezoidum. In your direction two, you have to select a two gate curves. Make sure your gate curve is here. Open sketch. So select a open and click OK in a selection manager. Now the crane hood is successfully created here. After that, we have to draw a some of the top profiles with the thread cutting in a crane hook we have to apply the fillet at all sharp corners give the radius value for fillet and click ok After that you have to select a friend plane, make it to the normal view, go to the sketch, select convert entities and select the edge of the crane hook. We have to draw a center line, center line which is most necessary for you using revolve feature. So I draw the center line. After that I have to draw a symmetric profile. Select a line. After drawing the symmetric profile, I have to give the corresponding dimension with the reference diagram. You have to just trim the unwanted entities. Then select the small dimensions. You have to apply the corresponding dimension. We 
exit the sketch go to the features and select here revolve future then click ok after that we have to apply the thread cutting here so go to the whole wizard and select a thread new dialog box is appearance here first we have to select the edge of the circular component to create a thread specify the height of the thread to be created here and specify the standard of the thread is to be created first we have apply the height of the thread to be created here then we have to select a type of the thread to be created in a metric standard now the thread is successfully created here after that you have to make a hole select a corresponding plane select a top plane go to the sketch you can select a top or right plane based upon your requirement then we have to draw a circle to create a hole have to specify the dimension for your circle and give the corresponding center distance of your circle to the edge of the reference axis select a center point of circle and select a reference edge give the corresponding dimension with the reference to expert diagram then click ok exit the sketch we have to extrude the circle we have to apply the extrude cut for remove material here apply the length of extrude cut then click ok now the hole is to be created we have successfully achieved the shape of the crane hook after that we have to apply the color for aesthetic look after applying the color we have to save the component for the future use of the assemble we have achieved all the dimension corresponding to the reference diagram
at last you have to save the component go to the file click the save as the green hook assemble pod may be uploaded in future thanks for watching inshallah we will meet in next video in this video